This is the seventh video on the C7 rifle. In this video, you will be shown the kneeling, sitting, standing, and squatting positions, and the alert position as it applies to each. All of the positions in this lesson are less stable in the prone position, and it is impossible to hold the rifle perfectly still when aiming. An area aim on the target as opposed to a point of aim has to be accepted. The size of the area aim will depend on the stability of the position being used and the time available for the shot. This area will decrease in size with practice as the soldier's shooting muscles develop and reflex actions speed up. When deployed under operational conditions or on a field firing range, it is often impossible to engage targets from the prone position. The soldier must learn to adopt either the kneeling, sitting, squatting, or standing position according to the nature of the ground and the target. The kneeling position can be adopted quickly and easily, particularly when advancing. It is convenient when using low cover, provides reasonable stability, and can be maintained for lengthy periods without undue discomfort. To adopt the kneeling position, face half right to the line of fire. Kneel on the right knee, keeping it well out to the right, and if possible, sit on the heel or the side of the foot. Rest the left forearm behind or in front of the left knee and the butt on the right thigh. This is known as the rest position. On a range being ordered, set the sight, cock the weapon, and put the selector lever on S. On the command watch and shoot, adopt the alert position. To do this, bring the butt into the shoulder and move the selector lever to R. The left foot is turned inwards to lock the lower part of the foot and reduce movement. The left knee is under the rifle and the butt is higher in the shoulder than in the prone position. The weight of the body is taken over the right heel. The sitting position is useful when firing from a forward slope, in low shrub, in a night ambush, or at moving targets at short range. To adopt the sitting position, sit with the legs crossed or apart and place the feet in a comfortable position. The rifle is held in the rest position as for kneeling. On a range being ordered, set the sight, cock the weapon, and put the selector lever on S. On the command watch and shoot, bring the butt into the shoulder and move the selector lever to R. Place the elbows in front of or on the inside of the knees. The standing position is used primarily when firing from behind high cover, in a trench, or during an advance to contact when targets are engaged quickly. To adopt the standing position, Fire. adopt the standing load position. On a range being ordered, set the sight, cock the weapon, and put the selector lever on S. On, on the command, watch and shoot, Fire. adopt the alert position. Bring the butt into the shoulder and move the selector lever to R, muzzle pointing forward and down. The handguard is held, and the body leans slightly forward in the direction of the target. The squatting position is useful for firing from mud, shallow water, and in open country where other firing positions may not easily be adopted. Some difficulty may be experienced in adopting the position, but continued practice will enable the firer to adopt the position to suit his build. To use the squatting position, halt with the feet 100 to 400 millimeters apart and drop down onto the haunches into a natural squatting position. The body is to be about 535 mils, 30 degrees, to the line of fire. The left foot may point at the target. The backs of the thighs rest against the backs of the calves. Allow the knees to bend to their full extent. 
Any tension in the thighs will cause undue strain to the calf muscles. Adjustments for direction onto the target are quickly and easily achieved by moving the right foot either to the left front or right rear. Muscle relaxation in the legs is most important in this position, and experimentation may be necessary to suit individual firers. Adjustment of the position could entail raising the right or both heels slightly from the ground, ensuring the weight is evenly distributed on the balls of the feet. Some firers may prefer the inside of the right foot to be flat on the ground. The sequence and drill for firing a shot are as taught for the prone position. No matter which position is adopted in relation to available cover, the four marksmanship principles are to be applied. Remember, a change of firing position can affect accuracy.